Red Eye, Tanya Wexler, director of Hysteria. Come see our movie. It opens May 25th, and I can guarantee it has a happy ending. So Hysteria starts by saying this story is based on true events. Really? Yes. Why do you think people might not believe this story if they weren't told that? I don't know. What about you? <laughs> Why do you think? I, I, I do think that's the big joke, actually. I think the big joke is not the vibrator. I think the big joke is this really happened. This was the treatment for hysteria, and that the vibrator, in a sense, was invented for a man. Right? It was a time-saving, labor-saving device for a guy. Um, it probably still is. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, when a guys get threatened by it, you should be like, dude, we're not trying to replace you. Just give you a break. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, without getting too personal, at what, at what age do you feel like you became aware of the vibrator? And what, <laughs> and, and, what do you, and what do you think that version of yourself would say if you could go back and tell oh. her that she was going to make a movie about this? Gosh. Wow. Oh, wait, I need one of these. Like, you totally <laughs> just asked me a question I've never been asked. That's blankety-blank awesome. Um... <laughs> Awesome. Uh, 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 uh. I mean, aware like I knew they existed, or aware like aware. Uh. Whatever you want, whatever you want to tell me. <laughs> um, when did Parenthood come out? Eighty nine. So I was nineteen. Around so around then, I remember um, there's a scene where uh, Diane Weist's character's kid comes out, or, or someone in that like family comes out. Uh, and it's in Diane Weiss's house in that scene, and um, brings out like a white kind of dildo-shaped vibrator, and then goes like, what's this? Like right in the middle of like chaos, and everyone stops and looks, and Diane Weiss goes, an electric ear cleaner, honey, and everyone laughs. laughs. And I, I remember that like still, right? Boom, I remember the shot, I remember everything. And uh, oh, and there was some horrible, creepy movie, like horribly, not horrible, but horribly creepy with Anthony Hopkins, where there was like a horrible like vibrator dildo stabby weapon, like he played some other psycho killer. Not Anthony Hopkins, um, the other one. Who played Norman Bates? Anthony Perkins. Anthony Perkins, something things, yes. Um, and oh, it was, I can't remember what it's called. Oh, anyway, well, we can do that offline. But, um, but I remember that scene from Parenthood well. As and being the exposure to it? Yeah, kind of like the first thing where I was like, oh. Like, I'm sure I'd heard the word, and certainly not in high school, so sometime around college, probably, um, I would think was the first time. And then what'd you say? You said, and then being aware of something that you should hurt a movie, if you were going to know you were going to make a movie? Yeah, what do you think that 19-year-old version of yourself would say? If <laughs> that 19-year-old version of myself would say, I'm going to make a movie? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, I, I didn't know I wanted to be a film director until I was 21. I mean, literally, I remember because I thought I was going to be an actor. And if I thought I was going to make a movie at 19, I would have been like, I'm going to be in a movie about the vibrator. Um, so Leave like, me alone. I just discovered the vibrator. Exactly. Anyways. That's what my 19-year-old self would have said. Like, finally, where have you been all my life? Because, like, the... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm going to just... Mm, mm, never mind. I was like, oh, the hand shower. Just like, that's fine. Um, and, like, I'm sorry, what? I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> that, not for print. And um, so I... Uh, I think that if I had, but as soon as I knew I wanted to direct, I would not have been surprised by that. Because it's, I don't know, it's funny and like, it's, uh, and I think that I wanted to make, I've always wanted to make things about characters that I liked and understood. And so in a movie, maybe not specifically about the vibrator, but about things like this will necessarily have those kinds of characters. Sure. Let's say you had a handful of vibrators laying around that you wanted to gift. I love that. It's a good Western to have a handful of, a pocket full of vibrators. <laughs> uh, Fistful of vibrators. And yeah. you had to send them to some celebrities that you thought would I've given them a enjoy bunch of them. Celebrities. People that you don't know. Who would you send them to? So you want me to select who I think would, given their current personalities, most enjoy them, or who might not know they would enjoy them? No. Um, who would enjoy get in trouble. Um, no, I, I am. I know what I'm thinking. Look, he's like, say it anyway. Um, who would most enjoy them? Well, I think we all know that Angelina Jolie would probably enjoy them. She's just probably stated as such. Um, so that was kind of not surprising. The person who popped into my head was Hillary Clinton. How come? She travels a lot. <laughs> I just think that poor woman, between the, like, the jet lag and the traveling, 
She'd be very happy. She doesn't want to answer those questions at the airport. She so. doesn't need to. She's got her own plane, baby. I'm like, she flies private. It's fine. They probably just leave them on the airplane. <laughs> um, so I was thinking, she, you know, that would, anyone who travels a lot. Um, who have you gifted them to before? Oh, I'm not going to say. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Had to ask. No, it was a nice try. <laughs> I mean, Maggie got like, and I both got sent tons, 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 tons. Um, I'm, I'm developing something with Paula Patton, and I told her I'd send her a bunch, and she was like, cool. But you can tell she'd be like, brand. Sure. Um, so she's awesome, and she's so gorgeous and smart and funny. It's not okay. There's some like really dumb, ugly person who she took all their gorgeous, smart, funny. It's not, yeah, it's not, not fair. fair. No. And um, I'm trying to think who else I really think would be made very happy. Like, I. I would like to send one to Tina Fey just to see the reaction shot. Because I'm not sure. I think she'd be like, you know, there'd be a great Liz Lemon kind of response there. Um, so that's why I would like to send her one. And uh, and I really hope, like, I know that Maggie's going to go on Letterman, and I really hope she just, like, turns one on and just, like, puts it on the desk. Because I want to see. Mostly I just want to see how people react. What do you say to viewers who see this movie and say, I think I would like to get into the field of pelvic massage? <laughs> I'd say, well, find a willing partner. <laughs> but don't try to major in it in college. Uh, uh, it seems that um, it would now be classed as sex work as opposed to medicine, for the most part, and therefore you'd probably only have one state in the union you could actually do it. <laughs> <laughs>